All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your uh, iOS 7 beta review. Uh, so I'm just going to go through everything that's with it right now, and I will uh, place out some of the bugs with it. Uh, if you're running the iOS 7 beta, what I've noticed uh, through the uh, experience of it. Uh, this is the beta 2, and uh, now I uh, did the installation manually, so uh, um, basically... Uh, it's safe to update to the beta 2 um, or well beta number 2 with the first beta I noticed that some apps didn't work and most of them did um, and uh, the battery life was really shitty but uh, now on beta 2 uh, the battery life has been extended and uh, all of the apps pretty much work except for uh, eBay and um, marketing apps and things like that for some reason um, also, there's a problem with Netflix, too, uh, sometimes. Not all the time, but just sometimes. But, uh, yeah, so basically things that have been added. Uh, you got the icons have been changed uh, with the camera. There is newer options in the camera. Uh, well, easier options, I should say, to realize and notice. If the camera would fucking load. See, that's what I mean. Random stuff crashes all the time with this beta. We'll try it again. There it goes. Now, now the whole phone crashed. Because apparently it doesn't like the camera. The other thing with the second beta, while this is rebooting, uh, that I've noticed is that um, sometimes when it reboots, the digitizer doesn't work. And uh, you'll have to use, like, see it just crash opening the phone. Like, it's fucking stupid. Um... Like, I had to use uh, Siri to open the phone and, like, search something on Google just to get on my phone. Alright, so now that we're back in business, uh, so there's, like, a lot of minor inconveniences with this shit. The camera, there's uh, the uh, video, then there's photo and square, uh, specifically designed for Instagram and stuff like that, and then uh, panorama view and HDR for all devices um, but yeah so uh, here we'll go explore the settings real quick with the iOS 7 beta everything's pretty much the same cellular data um, has been added there so your network options are there now uh, with general pretty much everything's the same and uh, there you go uh, version 7.0 um, the carrier has been updated with iOS 7, which is uh, a lot better service. Siri now has a male voice as well instead of a female voice. Um, background app refresh, uh, which is basically uh, this stuff right here. This is the app backgrounder. This is what it looks at. And uh, to... Well, here's the camera right here. See? Video. You just scroll to the right like that. Video, photo, square and then panorama but and uh... this is your app kill and if you can see uh, the camera moves with it so uh... but just to kill the app you slide it up like that and then all the other settings that i explained are pretty much the same safari is pretty much the same uh... notes are a little different it's no longer a notepad it actually looks like ms word um, and all that fun jazz um, the dock has been changed kind of back to its original state and the graphics are a little bit different and things like that now and see now my background just like died out because for some reason it can't handle it and it doesn't know what to do with its life um, maps are the same weather is uh, relatively differently themed that's what it looks like now uh, instead of the uh, weird so kind of looks more like Android OS uh, weather and then uh, here's the search for your phone. You just come over to the side here and slide down. So I'll slide down, and that's how you search your iPhone. Uh, you have these kind of like SB setting. Hey, dick fuck. There we go. If you slide up from the bottom, you have airplane mode, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, and the rotation lock, your brightness uh, modulator. 
uh, your iTunes that's currently playing is right here and then you have flashlight, stopwatch, calculator and quick access to the camera. Slide down, these are the notification centers. Today it will state the calendar and it will state the stocks. You can set that up in your settings as well. Um, if you click all, these are your current notifications like your regular everyday notifications that you had on iOS 6 and your missed calls will be stated there. So that's that. But other than that, that's pretty much it for iOS 7. Um, so uh, yeah, I will be showing a tutorial on uh, the uh, proper installation of 7 as well for uh, the, uh, um, what the fuck? What are they called? I just had it in my head and now I can't remember. The, um, oh, developers. The developers of uh, Apple iOS apps and reporting bugs and stuff like that. I will show the proper installation on the iOS 7 beta for that. And that's about it. So, yeah, rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about iOS 7. I honestly, I think the beta is pretty shitty, but I think that their OS is going to be fairly amazing.